Hi, <laughs> YouTube. It's your girl, Alita. So I've kind of mentioned this book a few times in my haul and unhaul video. Hi. Um, but I wanted to do a review of Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And let's just dive right in. So... If you've been watching my videos, then you know that I absolutely loved this book. It has mystery, it has love, it has just like you're a normal teenager going to school, which is cool. So, this follows Jess from Chicago to California. After her mom died, her dad got remarried a few years later. He met Rachel who she refers to as Step Monster, which I think kind of fits if you grew up with step parents, you're you thought of them as step monsters or you know, you don't always like your step parents at first, and then I'm sure that you really do. So I liked that it was very relatable in that aspect. And then it was like Going from Chicago and being middle class to moving to California and being super rich, having going to the most preppy schools and everything definitely was an adjustment period. Plus, Jess was still adjusting to not having her mom in her life. And so it just felt very real. And that's what I really loved about it. And then... When she's adjusting to life, her new life in California, um, somebody, nobody, that's what he calls himself, starts emailing her. And then he, they end up IMing. And it's called Tell Me Three Things because he knows who she is, but she doesn't know who he is. So it's kind of like a mystery. Who is the guy that I'm starting to like? And, um, tell me three things. He tells her three things about himself, and she in return tells him three things about herself. And in that way, they kind of get to know each other, and they fall in love. And then, um, as you read, you kind of get a list of suspects. I guessed it right off the bat. But only because that's who I wanted it to be. It wasn't that I thought it was him necessarily. I just was hoping that it was. And then at the end of the book, actually, they set up SN and Jess set up a meeting time and place. And she gets there early. And it was a very twisted ending. It was not what I was expecting. I mean, I guess it was because I guessed right, but the way that they tell you who it was was amazing because it left me guessing till the very last second. And then other aspects of the book that I want to talk about are the characters. Like, the characters feel so real. Jess feels like she's going through a hard time like she's adjusting without her mom she's adjusting to a whole new life and her dad her dad and her aren't buddy buddy they don't you know it felt like a real teenage dad relationship they fought they did not get along but then Jess kind of comes to realize that it's hard for her dad too because even though he remarried someone else, he still misses Jess's mom. Like, and it's just a very complicated, messy situation. And it just felt so real and so gripping to me. And that's exactly why I loved this book. Because, honestly, it kept me guessing until the very last second. But I was so happy with who it was. I can't spoil it because that's the whole point of this book, I believe. You know, that was the best part for me. I picked it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's a suspect. She's a suspect. He's a suspect. Ooh, she could have done it. And then you realize that it was a guy. It, or it is a guy that she's talking to. 
and I, it was just like, yes, because I, I was so happy with who it was, and I'm sure you will be too, um, but I would recommend this book. You should go read, let, tell me three things. I was going to call it, let me, I don't know. I don't even know what I was going to call it, but tell me three things. And it was such a good book. I definitely recommend it. If you're anything like me, you'll cry when they reveal who it was just because I cry during everything. Like sad movies, happy movies, scary movies, books. Everything makes me cry because I'm a crybaby. But go get this book. It was so cute. It was so good. Well, thank you for watching my first ever review. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button and subscribe to me. Um, thank you. Talk to you later. Boo.